So, hello YouTubers again. Welcome to part three of my technology update type videos, or my set. <laughs> this is the last device update that I have got. From the title, you already know what it is, um, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of background of how I've got it and what I, why I got it and all that sort of stuff. So, as you guys know, I had the 4S and I was happy with the 4S until iOS 7 came out, which freaked me out a bit and I got worried and I thought, I haven't got any warranty on this, so basically I should sell it before I have to upgrade it, and that's what I did. But I was a little bit gutted. Before iOS 7 came out, I was seriously considering upgrading to the iPhone 5, because my brother had one, and he let me have a look at it, and I really did like the look of it, so I thought, maybe I'll go for the iPhone 5. But then obviously iOS 7 came out, and that sort of put a scupper on it because of what happened with my iPod Touch. So I sort of thought, right, I'll go to Android. So I got the Galaxy S4 Mini, which was the smallest one that I could get, which was the, the sort of similarest in spec to the iPhone 4S. But I didn't really warm to it, to be honest. Having had the Galaxy S2 and then going to the 4S, it, it was a different experience. And I did prefer the way iPhone did things in iOS 6. And I just I couldn't get on with the Galaxy S4. I just didn't, you know, there was something about it, I just didn't like it. I mean, even though I had the ability to be able to downgrade or upgrade the firmware as and when I decided to do it, there was just something about it that I didn't really like, and I did prefer the iPhone 4S. So I got rid of the Galaxy S4, um, and I thought to myself, I don't really want to get a 5C. I couldn't really afford to get one anyway, and I didn't really like the plasticness of it. Now, a lot of people have said that, that it, is a, it is a good device, but I didn't like the look of the plasticness of it. I like the slate grey way of doing things, and I like the way that the iPhone 5 was. Well, an opportunity came along for me to get an iPhone 5, and I thought, right, well, while I can do it, let's go for it. And so I did, and I got the iPhone 5. And I've got to say, I really like it. As you can see, it's on iOS 6, 6.1.4 to be precise. And it is working really, really well. The um, call quality is really good. Texting is really good on it. The ringtones are really good on it as well. <laughs> yes, I do like that. Yes, I do indeed. Um, so, yeah, I've just been really impressed with it. The cameras on it are really good. Um, the battery life, I'm not too sure about the battery life yet. It seems to be doing pretty well so far. Um, and it looks like it's on par to be at least the same as the 4S, which is really good. Um, and I just, I like, I really like it. Everything about it, the screen, the cameras, everything. I just really do like it. Now, as far as upgrading is concerned, I would like the iOS 7 uh, pull-up control center. I think that that would be pretty good. And the notifications bar. Um, but to be honest with you, at the moment, I'm a little bit reluctant to update. Uh, my brother updated his to iOS 7 because he's got the white version of this. And he said he's had nothing but problems with it. Um, so I think because I don't use um, this on the internet, I'm going to leave it as it is. And until I'm 100% sure that upgrading to iOS 7 will benefit this, then I'm going to leave it as it is. Because it's working really, really well. The battery life seems to be pretty good, signal strength, everything about it seems to be pretty pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, and maybe sometime in the future, maybe when 7.1 comes out, maybe I'll upgrade then. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy that I went for it, um, and it's a really nice device. Once I get my case on it and get a proper screen guard on it, then I'll be as happy as chips. <laughs> I think I'm as happy as fries at the moment, but I will be as happy as chips because chips are slightly fatter than fries. Over here they are anyway. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would definitely recommend it. If you're coming from a previous version, like the 3GS or the 4 or the 4S, then I would say go for the 5 because it is a nice upgrade. Now, the tricky thing is to get an iPhone 5 you've got to go to another retailer, like Carphone Warehouse, I think, still do them. Um, I think you can get them from EE or Orange or T-Mobile 
Um, I'm not sure. I think you'd have to check. Phones for you probably still do them. But because Apple aren't doing them anymore, I think stock is starting to run out of the iPhone 5. I mean, I was quite lucky to get mine from where I got it from. But I did notice that stock was starting to go down. So I'm not really sure how much longer they are going to be available for. If money was no issue, which iPhone would I get? As far as I'm concerned, the iPhone 5 fits all of my criteria and more. And I don't really see any point in the fingerprint scanner for me. The upgrade to the speed of the chip for me in the 5S wouldn't really affect me. It wouldn't, it wouldn't benefit me enough to warrant spending the extra money. Um, and also the same with the camera. I think in low light the 5S's camera does a better job. But the 5 does a better job than the 4S. So as far as I'm concerned, I think if money was no object, I would probably still go for the iPhone 5. Because I do really like it. I can't really see that there is huge benefits to get the 5S over the 5. But obviously the 5S is more current. So I don't know how that would work. But for me, personally, I would go for the iPhone 5. Yes, I would recommend it. If you can get hold of one, um, then I would say go for it. If, especially if you're coming from a previous version, then I would say go for it. If you're choosing between the iPhone 5, the 5C and the 5S, if you want the extra things that the 5S can give you and you can afford it, then go for the 5S. But for me, iOS 6 on the iPhone 5, for me, is the better choice. So I would sort of go for that. So there you go, that's my videos, part one, two, and three. I hope you've enjoyed them. As far as future reviews are concerned on any of those devices, I think it depends on the interest, to be honest. Obviously, if you guys want me to do any comparisons or anything like that, then I will try and do them. Um, as far as overviews and stuff are concerned, I'm not really sure what I will do, to be honest. I might do a video showing you guys what the Wi-Fi is like on the Galaxy Tab, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, unless you guys are really interested, I'll just leave it at that. Um, and I'm really happy with my devices and I would re recommend every single one of them. That's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed these few videos that I've done. Um, I hope you're having a good day and I'll do some more later on. Bye bye for now.